The National Marine Sanctuary Program, administered by NOAA's National Ocean Service, manages and protects specially designated areas of the nation's oceans and Great Lakes for their habitats, ecological value, threatened and endangered species, and in historical, archaeological, recreational, and aesthetic resources. Thirteen National Marine Sanctuaries and one Marine National Monument are part of this program. The program was created by the Marine Protection Research and Sanctuaries Act of 1972. Jump in the submarine next to the dock to take an educational tour of a few sanctuaries. National Marine Sanctuaries are living classrooms and laboratories for students and marine scientists. Each sanctuary conducts extensive research and monitoring efforts, which are carried out and supported by many partners including federal, state, and local government agencies, academic institutions, and non-governmental organizations. The Olympic Coast National Marine Sanctuary spans 3,310 square miles of marine waters off the rugged Olympic Peninsula coastline of Washington State. Marine wildlife thrives here. 29 species of marine mammals and scores of seabird species spend parts of their lives here. Gray whales visit as part of the longest mammal migration on Earth and albatross gather food here to return to nestlings in mid-Pacific islands and atolls. Sea otters munch on macroinvertebrates such as urchins which in turn graze on majestic kelp forests. Fish occupy myriad niches from the deepest ocean canyons to the shallowest tide pools. The human story is important too, with over 150 documented historical shipwrecks. For millennia, Native American cultures have lived in a unique relationship with the ocean. And beginning in the 16th century, European exploration and eventually settlement have left a compelling historical legacy on the Olympic coast. The Monterey Bay National Marine Sanctuary runs along one quarter of the California coastline from Cambria to just north of the Golden Gate Bridge in Marin, encompassing a shoreline length from 276 miles and 5,322 square miles of ocean, extending to an average distance of 30 miles from the shore. The sanctuary protects a diversity of habitats including wave-swept beaches, dramatic rocky shorelines, lush kelp forests, and the unique Monterey Submarine Canyon which meanders over 60 miles of seafloor and descends 2 miles into the oceanic abyss. Thanks to its nutrient-rich waters, the sanctuary offers some of the world's best whale watching. The central coast of California is one of only five regions in the world where major upwelling occurs. Upwelling occurs when cold, nutrient-rich water is driven to the surface as a result of wind, the angle of the coastline, and rotation of the earth. The cold, deep water is filled with nutrients and during the spring when the northwest winds blow, the rich water is brought to the surface fueled by the sun and creates surface plankton blooms. Plankton form the base of the food chain for all marine animals. Whales, dolphins, and seabirds concentrate in these waters to feed on an abundance of krill, fish, and squid supported by these intense plankton blooms. The Hawaiian Islands are the world's most isolated island archipelago, born of ancient volcanoes and inhabited by animals and plants derived from ancestors that found their way here over thousands of miles of ocean. The shallow, warm waters surrounding the main Hawaiian island constitute one of the world's most important habitats for the endangered humpback whale. Nearly two-thirds of the entire North Pacific population of humpback whales migrates to Hawaii each winter where they engage in breeding, calving, and nursing activities. The continued protection of humpback whales and their habitat is crucial to the long-term recovery of this endangered species. The sanctuary is also home to a fascinating array of marine animals, corals, and plants, some of which are found nowhere else on the earth. Its cultural heritage includes native Hawaiian traditions of living in harmony with the sea. Its waters invite activities such as diving, boating, snorkeling, and support commercial uses such as fishing and shipping. Coral reefs are some of the most biologically productive and economical valuable ecosystems on Earth. 
Benefits provided by coral reefs include protecting shorelines of erosion and storm damage, supplying foods that are important to most coastal communities, and providing recreational and economical opportunities. Yet, they are threatened by an increasing array of impacts from overexploration, pollution, habitat loss, invasive species, disease, bleaching, and global climate change. In addition to stress from human activities, coral reefs are also subject to natural threats. High temperatures associated with phenomena such as El Nino cause severe damage through the thermal stress. One of the most striking responses to thermal stress is known as bleaching. Most reef-building corals have single-cell algae living within their tissues. These algae play an important role in the coral's nutrition and growth. Pigments in the algae are also responsible for the coral's color. Under thermal stress, some corals may expel these algae, causing the corals to appear bleached. Some corals may recover and acquire replacement algae, but others may die. The rapid decline and loss of these valuable, ancient, and complex marine ecosystems have significant social, economic, and environmental consequences in the United States and around the world. Through Coral Reef Conservation Act of 2000 and other mandates, NOAA helps coastal communities, managers, scientists, and other partners to understand and sustainably manage coral reef ecosystems. The following are some basic ocean etiquette tips when visiting a sanctuary or other natural wildlife area. Learn before you go. Read about the wildlife, viewing sites, and local regulations to get the most of your wildlife viewing experience. Keep your distance. Marine wildlife may be very sensitive to human disturbance, and if cornered, they can harm the viewer or leave the area. Hands off. Never touch, handle, or ride marine wildlife. Touching wildlife or attempting to do so can injure the animal, put you at risk, and also may be illegal for certain species. Never chase, harass, or try to feed marine wildlife. Stay away from wildlife that appears abandoned or sick. Lend a hand with trash removal. Plastic bags, floating debris, and other garbage pose the greatest risk to wildlife. 